We shall run through a few simple steps to set up your router on your first use or after resetting it. In this video we shall look at changing the Wi-Fi name or SSID and changing the password and more. Let's get to it. First things first, input your SIM card into the router. You will have a SIM card symbol here to show you how to face the SIM card as you insert it. So face it up like this and insert. Besides the SIM card slot, you will see a reset button here. You can use this in case your router is acting up or you have forgotten your passwords. And then here we have a type C port. So let's close. And out here you'll have a power button to power on the router. Next, let's plug the power plug into the socket. Then let's get out the UPS or what you call the power bank. As you can see, it's off. This first light here indicates battery power and the other indicates charging when you insert power plug. When off means the power bank is full. Okay, now let's input the power plug from the socket into the power bank. And now let's insert the cable from the power bank into the router. As you can see, it's off since the switch on the power bank is off. We proceed to switch it on. The router will take some seconds to set up. Give it about 40 seconds. You'll see the LED lights on like this. The first LED at the bottom shows power. The second shows Wi-Fi is being distributed from the router. The third, labeled 4G, shows 4G access. So, if your area has 4G, this will also light up green. The next, which is labeled 5G, will light up if you are in an area with 5G access. In case it's off, it implies zero 5G signal in your area. Then the last is the network signal strength. So if this light is green, it means good quality signal. And if it's blue, then you have medium quality signal. And if it's red, this indicates poor signal quality. And if red is flashing, then SIM card is not recognized. And if it's off, you have zero network signal. Okay, now let's proceed to your computer or smartphone. You will see these two networks. As you can see here, on your laptop or even on your phone. In this video, we shall use a laptop, but the processors are the same even on phone. Okay, let's connect to this first network. The default Wi-Fi password is at the bottom of the router. It will be labeled as Wi-Fi key. We input the password. Now, the next step is we are going to access the router control panel to set up the router. Open up a browser. I'm using Chrome. Up here, input 192.168.1.1 without any spaces. Then press enter. You will get this page here. At the top here, tap login. This username and password for the router control panel is also at the bottom of the router, which is admin and password admin. And we are in. Let's proceed to Wi-Fi settings on your left here. Then tap 5G Wi-Fi settings. Switch on 5G optimization here so we can have Wi-Fi network, not two Wi-Fi networks like we saw earlier here. When you're done, hit save. Give the router about 7 seconds and then connect to the Wi-Fi again. As you can see, we have one Wi-Fi network now. If a password is being asked for, use the Wi-Fi key that is at the bottom as we did earlier. And then connect. Come back to Chrome, type our address 192.168.1.1. Remember, no spaces. If login is asked, proceed and login admin admin. Then come back to your left and tap Wi-Fi settings here. Then tap 5G Wi-Fi settings. Now under SSID, input a name you want to use for your Wi-Fi. Then under Wi-Fi password, choose a password you want. Then tap save. Now go back and connect to your Wi-Fi with the new password you have set up. Like and subscribe if the video helped you in any way. Thank you for watching. Any additions or questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.